Hi. We are the Paradox. Thank you very much for trusting us and buying our product. Your support means a lot to us. We appreciate it. If you have any criticism about the product, feel free to share it with us. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a lace face mask. First, we make a rectangle with a width of 250 and a height of 150. Divide it into two parts. Make another rectangle with a width of 10 and a height of 90. Copy and paste it. Make another rectangle with a width of 7 and a height of 90. Copy and paste it. Put them in the right place. Sew them together. Use pins here because if we do the simulation now, the mask will most likely fall off. Simulate. Make them a little smaller. Set the kinetic friction number to 1. By doing this, we increase the adhesion of the mask on the character, and if we simulate, the mask will not fall out of the character. Choose Preset. Give them thickness.
decrease the particle distance number. Hold down the control button and W to remove the pins. Use elastic. Create points on it. Make changes using the internal line. Select clone as pattern. Select clone as whole. Apply the texture. Sew them together.
Go to the UV editor, and unlock the model. We arrange the clusters in their largest size inside the UV. Using the pin tool, we attach the front parts of the nose to the avatar. We change the model topology, from triangular to quadrilateral, to have a standard topology. We give details to the model, so that it can be placed better on the avatar. Select parts of the mask, and wrinkle them using the tools available. We output the model as obj, and in the output settings, we apply thickness to it.
insert the model into the substance painter, and if there is no problem with the model, we bake it. In the bake settings, we apply the necessary options, and also specify the size of the textures. After the baking process is completed, we start materializing. In the first layer, we select the color. We reduce the gloss. In the next layer, using geometric shapes, we create tiny dots on it and give it height. Apply a darker color to those areas. We arrange the layers, and put them in a folder, and assign a mask to that folder.
For the next material in the first layer, we specify the color. Because this is a transparent material, we need to change the shade of the material, and add an opacity channel. We connect the texture, that we added to the software to the opacity part. We make changes to it, to make it our favorite material. Then we copy the layer, and invert the mask, to apply the color in that area. In the next layer, using the generators, we give the corner areas of the model height, and another color. In the next layer, we create the fine fabric details on the model, 
and apply another depth and color to it. For the next material in the first layer, we assign a color to it. In the next layer, we act like the previous material, creating small details of the fabric, using textures and masks. We return to the second material, and in a new layer, we try to create large wrinkles in it, using textures and masks.
In the next layer, using the paint tool, we draw the metal part manually, and apply a special material to it. Now the builders are done, and we can output the textures from the software. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Again, thank you so much for the support. Wish you a good day.